You staying for the three zero? You know the la this is this if the if not does uh, sorry if secret does win this game this just right clicking it down. Make for the time here. Dragon back. They've got puppy coming his way. Look for the turn. Get that slow off. This is gonna be enough for the bring down pie. Now the turnaround's there for fanatic. They focus the razor. But Coffee's gonna cross just around around him. They're gonna be able to take him down. Alright, the sting charge is keeping him alive. DJ's gotta get himself out of there with a the sandstorm. They're both splitting. It looks like Butter's actually able to survive this as he keeps the distance. Is able to pop this out. It's actually gonna be Secret who claim first blood as Yapsaw zaps down Pi Lai Die. Look at this immediately towards the mid. Mid one. He's got the Tarn combo. He's also That's got Puppy in as well. Okay. Very low. He's there to back up, but with that Burrow Strike Fanatic, they'll be able to get one. They're going to be able to get two. Sentry down, they've got the vision. Perfect time for DJ to walk back out to the lane. As they're starting to, to sweep towards the mid lane, I think they expect for another play to come in from Secret on an attempt on Arben's life. And look at this, Arben moves forward. He's sort of baiting this play out. This is fine time for the rest of Fnatic to come in. Arben may still die, though. He gets around and he will. The question is if they can get kills off the back of it. They're trying, but the Tarn holds to turn them back. The homing missile connects. They're trying to focus down Puppy. He's up to the high ground. Universe coming in as well with the TP. Will right-click down one of them. They get the bounty hunt to kill. You can see the intention there from Fnatic with that play. You know, Arbet intentionally going forward to buy time for the rest of Fnatic to come in. Maybe Arbet didn't expect himself to get bursted down so quickly, though, yeah. because he died just far too quickly for Fnatic to react in time, and they only get... Since Universe moves to the lane. Down to bottom. The first strike. Cold feet prop. Do they have the right click to bring him down? I don't think they do with the backup of the ace. And yeah, I'm sure the turnaround's gonna be there. They turn towards DJ, he gets the toss back. I see toss DJ back into the face of this race. Is that gonna get him killed? Oh, it's not. That was close, though. <laughs> that toss got Fada killed. He would be having words with... Yeah, now mid one is starting to be more of that active role. He's running around the map a lot more on the Kunkka so they can give this bounty hunter the levels, because Puppy, he wants to get that level six as early as possible for the try. So the calls of Fnatic as well at the top. Oh, oh, there's Fada here. And Envy, they're going for the chase down. DJ has the burst strike. And Fada, they got the body blocks by time for Universe to TP in mid one. Does drop out the boat. The silence is down onto both of them. They have the run. It's not going to be enough to keep Fada alive. Fada will fall. Very good silence by a bit there. That time he wasn't able to actually. The X. Let's see what they can get. DJ leading the charge. Universe TPing in very aggressively in the back line too. They can look inside the tower, but the power strike's going to be off the point. My Fada will connect onto Fada. Got MV moving in for the corner. It'll be enough to pop Fada for sure. Fada will die. They have managed to find DJ in return. Universe never punched down Puppy. The ghost team comes forth though straight onto the Gyrocopter. Secret get the two for two trade. They're going to get a third. The TP cancelled there by Ace as he comes in with the toss onto the AA. I can't quite cross that little bit of the map without being spotted by one of them. The silence. Grab the ice bars as well coming in. Burrow's trying for TJ, they've got it. Fada will fall. Mid one. We'll see if we can maybe try and catch him on the retreat, but the torrent won't quite be on the mark. Close by to Puppy. Puppy gets the ward down. They get the dust though. They do have to send me down. Still got eyes on him and they'll put the ice blast immediately onto Puppy and they'll pop him. Puppy will fall, but you have to admit one. They've got the control onto Pi. They'll get a return kill, and it is a track kill. And Fada comes in for the AoE gold, too, so that's definitely worth it. They expended a century as well as it does. Puppy spotted DJ now, bottom. DJ is not going to be able to TP out of that one. Tries to burrow strike his way out of the tree line. Puppy and Fada will go for the chase. Does get the blink off. If Yapsaw can close the gap, does have Burrow Strike and the Yule Scepter. Burrow's forward, finds his range for the Telekinesis, tracks DJ back, and they've got the kill. Three man track. He's still a little bit on his own here, but what comes in with the backup and ace? That's the the BKB heals the five. And Envy just gets comboed down by the tiny Pi and Arved trying to retreat from mid one. See if mid one can find the chance for the X mark. And he can. He's trying to stand for Pi. He's trying his best to heal up, but at the end of the day, all this has done is fourth time for Puppy to come and get another track out. Pi will fall. See so what they can do, though. So, sure, you've taken mid one down for 40 seconds. Can you actually get anything done with this time? And take back to mid lane, even though they're the ones that found mid one. Arbeck's now in trouble. Just got that one in east of the combo comes through from Ace, and that is Arbeck gone. Fada, though, top has the BKB available. Pi's gonna get turned on here. With the sprout, Fada, he doesn't have any way to cut himself out of these trees, and that's what we call a classic art tour. Universe is continuing to try and find the space up top Ace. He's got his eyes on Envy, goes in with the combo. Envy will be safe though for the time. The tree. But the tree! Oh! Taken down.
thousand experience lead as well, and we have yet to see an exorcism. They're gonna try for a smoke play, Fnatic. They, they don't have Epicenter though for this. Can they really do something? They're gonna jump in onto the Kunkka, but he's already X marked himself, so he's gonna be able to drag himself back a bit outside of the cooldown. And now, now this is gonna turn for that Ace and Yaps will turn up to the fight. They look towards Arbet. Arbet gets the BKB off, but he just gets choked down by Ace's physical damage. They'll lose DJ as well. That is not the hero you want to go on. If you see a self X mark Kunkka, Secret will not allow them, and now it will get closer to that 20k gold leap and an Aegis now. High up top, he's been hunted. Puppy's got his eyes on him. Oh, yeah. It looks like he was able to just juke out of the vision. Hi. He's hiding. He's hoping. He's praying. But he's been found. May actually be able to bring that Puppy with him. With that cold feet, he will. I'll take that. One for one trade. Sure, it was a track killer course for Secret. Bottom. Butter. Opening up onto Envy. Envy. Going for the TP out. Watch the smoke. Will they catch anything? Moment, Butter just sort of baiting out of play down bottom. Ace and Yapsa will reveal themselves. They're up onto the base. In fact, Butter just flings straight in. They're onto the tier 3 tower. Fnatic, they have to answer this if they want to keep these racks alive. Ace starting to beat down upon them. And so on to Fada. They have got a good ice blast coming in from the side. We'll catch on to three of them. But no real follow-up. And in fact, Yapsor, he's going to be the one to blink in. Telekinesis onto MV. MV backs himself away. There's the jump in. Yeah. He goes for the MV. And they got the damage to bring down this target. They've got an old fight from Universe. They'll be able to take down Fada. He'll get Ace his Aegis. The one with the BKB trying to move forward. But with the BKB's up on Arbet and MV, they can chase the Alive, TP's back to base. He's got the X mark to bring it back in as they'll clean up that bottom set of racks. Secret now with a 27,000 gold lead. And Yapstar on this Rubik just styling, getting these instant jumps, getting the ice blast deal as well. Look at his net worth top four on this Rubik. And they're ready to look for a second set of racks. Sorry, connecting onto FBR, they're trying to slow them down with a multi man silence. The mid one just chunking through the creep waves with this Crystalis. One shot and they're gone. And there's the combo. Telekinesis Ice Blast attempted onto MV. Post the BKB trying to run himself away from Fada. He'll make it. Does get back to the fountain. But he'll have to wait there a few seconds whilst that Ice Blast debuff is upon him. It's an Aghanim's Blast too, so it does last a lot longer. And you it and get them. I mean, Yapsa's gonna stay absolutely worth In fact, he may, he may even live out of this one. Yapsa's trying to get himself back. No, he does fall. Arbet trying to get himself back. The BKB self kills. He's so low here. The ghost up to count. Arbet keep himself alive. He tries to turn with the Chris Swarm, but the X marks there. We'll drag Arbet back into the hands of base. Arbet falls. Fnatic, they've lost three. DJ comes forward with the epicenter, but there just isn't the follow-up damage that Fnatic need. As GG is called. Secret are your champions here at the Corsair. Dream League Season 9. Taking the series three to zero against Fnatic. They just look on a completely different level, to be completely honest, in these games. They just, the movements around the map, they just, they, everyone just needs to be farming pretty freely. And it just, it just seems like there was nothing Fnatic could do in those points. They set back this gyro back, gyro so much. Envy was forced to make all those rotations. And Secret, without dropping a single game here at Dream League. Absolutely. I mean, this roster, we. we